I've created a uh, Fusion design file that allows you to use the powerful parametric modeling features of Fusion uh, to create a gear uh, with any number of teeth between 14 and 80 and any uh, pitch diameter. Let's look at the uh, Sigma menu under Modify. And here you'll see all the formulas and all the parameters that I've uh, specified. The two parameters of interest are the number of teeth, in this case 32, and the pitch diameter, in this case 2 inches. And I can change these, uh, for example, the number of teeth to 16, and it'll change the gear for me. And let's say I'll change the um, pitch diameter to 1 inch. For these gears, I've set the pressure angle at 20 degrees, which is the most common pressure angle found in gears. And uh, when you enter the uh, number of teeth and the pitch diameter, it'll uh, calculate the uh, diametral pitch uh, for you. Of course, for any two gears to uh, be able to mesh, they would have to have the same um, pressure angle and diametral pitch. Pitch. For example, if uh, I want to mesh this gear uh, with a gear uh, that would uh, have uh, twice as many teeth, um, I notice that my pitch is 16. Uh, let's change this to 32. Okay, that gave me twice as many te teeth but it changed my pitch to 32. I want to ch change my pitch to uh, 16 again, so I have to increase the diameter uh, to 2. All right, now this new gear also has a, uh, a pitch of 16 and will mesh with the previous gear. There are other options you can change here, including the thickness of the gear. Let's change that to 0.5. Or the... Um, Delay radius, let's change that to 0 0.2. Um, or the diameter of the center bore, let's change that to 0.5. It's best to leave the fillet radius around 0 0.01. In order to access uh, this file, um, just go to this link. Uh, you can also find this link in the description of this uh, video on YouTube. To see how I created this parametric design, let's go behind the scenes and uh, look at this gear. I'm going to turn on my sketch. So let's look at the uh, back side of this. I'm going to zoom in. Okay. Every gear has a, an outer diameter, which is defined by this circle an inner diameter or a root diameter which is defined by this circle and a pitch diameter which is uh, defined by this circle. The pitch diameter is one of the main uh, properties of a gear and it is where uh, the uh, adjacent gears mesh with each other in order for two gears to mesh uh, their uh, pitch circles would have to be tangential to one another. The point at which the pitch circle, this blue line, uh, meets the profile of the um, gear is called the pitch point. If I uh, draw a line at an angle of 20 degrees, this line, uh, in relation to the pitch circle at the pitch point, then this line is my um, pressure angle line. Uh, the pressure angle is another property of a gear. 
which really defines the profile of the gear. Specifically, it defines the involute curve that goes from here to here. If I um, extend my pitch angle line and then uh, create a new circle defined by this blue line which is centered along with the other central centers and is tangential to my uh, pressure angle line then I have created what's called the base circle the base circle is what's used to create this involute uh, profile if I start at the pitch point and draw a circle defined by this blue line whose diameter is one-fourth the diameter of the pitch circle then this circle will intersect at some point with my base circle then if I start at that point of intersection and draw a second circle of the same diameter that is diameter equal to one-fourth the diameter of the pitch uh, circle then I will create the desired profile of the gear from here to here then I can simply mirror this circle along this mirror line to create a second circle and that will create this profile over here the height of my gear is defined by the outer diameter which is related to the pitch diameter by a formula the depth of my gear is defined by the root diameter which is also related to the pitch diameter by a formula and the width of my uh, gear uh, is defined by these two radial lines uh, and those are also defined by a formula and related to the number of teeth. Now let's look at the um, parameters, pull down the sigma and you will see that um, we start with the uh, pitch diameter as a uh, driving variable and uh, the uh, inner diameter or the root diameter is defined by this formula the outer diameter is defined by this formula and the uh, width of the um, uh, gear and the mirror line are uh, defined by, by these formulas. So all of these calculations just define one tooth of the gear. So let's go uh, back our history and see how I did everything else. So first was the sketch. Then I extruded one tooth and the main circle. And then I uh, did a fillet of these edges. I created a uh, circular pattern uh, using uh, the number n, which is the number of teeth in uh, my under my sigma. Then um, I combined all of those into one shape, one body, and then turned that body into a, a single component.